And there you are. Hey guys. So, it's been a while since I've been around. Sorry about that. Been working on my studio, which is... <laughs> you know, it's like a 15 to 25% complete. I do have a green screen, which is cool. So I will be fiddling with that eventually. Uh, okay, today is just an introduction to a series that I hopefully can get my butt into gear and get accomplished for you guys. Because it's incredibly important, so I want to get the message out there. The greatest conspiracy of all time. You know how we've talked about before in the past? The Illuminati, about the... Uh, uh, Blue Bean Project, about the New World Order, all of those things kind of coming into play potentially in the very near future if they even exist. There's a strong likelihood they do exist and there's a strong likelihood that they are going to take action very soon. The reason for that is tied into the greatest conspiracy of all kind. We're talking about a conspiracy that is entrapped, enslaved, and killed, destroyed, everything, billions of people. Like, you yourself might very well be ensnared to it right now and you won't even know about it. You, you might think that it's something completely harmless, that it's kind of your duty, uh, it's something that you just partake in because your family does. But you don't know what's actually behind it, behind, say, the, the rights, the history, everything like that. And I'm talking about religion. Now, religion and the Bible, this very book right here, actually create the greatest conspiracy of mankind. There is a war on for your mind and it took me a long time to see it, and this isn't anything coming from a religious fanatic. Let's just clear that away right away. If you're an atheist, you'll very much so enjoy this because, hey, it takes a massive, well, it, it deals a massive blow, sorry, to religion, or religious institutions, and beliefs all over the world. And this Bible has been used to control and kill, depopulate, populate, and steal from humans throughout all of history. As well, as long as the Bible's been written anyway, so you know, probably 4,000 years. What is the origin, what is the purpose, and what is actually going on in the world? All ties into religion. I mean, even if you think about ISIS over in the Middle East, you think about the crazy, uh, I can't remember, the Baptist church that, you know, God hates fags and God loves dead soldiers. All of the crazy different ideologies and the far spectrums of religion. But if you think about religion like you think about politics, religion's got a left arm and a right arm, you know, that's those two extremes. But who is attached to those right arms in the center and who is controlling those religions. And even if they're not on the extremes, they're still part of the whole that make up false religion and therefore this huge conspiracy. And that's something we're going to delve into and it's going to be a lot of fun. Something I'm very personally involved with and it's a huge truth and all of those other things I've covered in the past pale, pale in comparison. You're talking about the New World Order planning on killing you know, half a billion or a couple billion people to repopulate the planet, that pales in comparison. Talking about the blue beam technology to create God or aliens to unite mankind to create a one world government, that pales in comparison. Like, a secret group controlling the world? Well, you don't, you can't much pale a whole lot more than that because it is a secret group. Depends on who you're talking about, though. That's going to be fun. Okay, I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future, and this is going to be good. And I don't mean to personally offend all of you. I hope you all come at this with an open mind so that you can see this and benefit from this, uh, see it as truth. And I'm going to be using this book to dispel a lot of Christian beliefs, and that will be the personal base, or that will be the basis, sorry for these discussions, of the Christian faiths and the Bible. doesn't matter which translation you use. I'll use several different translations. Uh, not the Koran, not the Torah. Koran, yeah, and Torah. Uh, we won't really be too much talking about the Islamic faith and them, the Muslims, but we will be covering it a little bit, so it'll be interesting. I look forward to seeing all of you guys. I'm done rambling, and peace.